business rules. Okay, so here we can see an example or a summary of how business rules are used. Basically, well, there's different types of business rules in the application. Most BPMS have something that's called process rules. A process rule is nothing else than a decision making within a process and it only affects that process. Okay, for example, lots of BPMS tools have gateways and these gateways allow you to move the flow in one direction or another one based on some decision or some data that's been input in that process. And this is not really a business rule. This is something that we call a process rule. Okay, obviously AutoPortal has these process rules to concur of. We'll see it later on. Besides, there's another type of rules. They're called uh, performance rules, where we can indicate how a form or how an interface or screen is going to perform based on the user interaction. Okay. Some people also call it conditional logic. Okay. This is also a different type of rule that AutoPortal can perform. But additionally, it can also perform business rules. This is a type of rule that not every BPMS um, out there has. Basically what it allows is unique place where we can store these rules by a user. It's going to be a business rule, sorry, a business user who's going to be able to modify these, these rules whenever he wants. And these rules are going to affect the processes. So we're going to see it here in this animation. The first thing the user is going to do is enter and manage these business rules. Okay, they can be modified at any time by any user with permissions. And thanks to this, it's possible to make modifications of many processes at once without having to make changes in each process individually. Okay, so let's say we change maybe some instructions in the text rule or we change some algorithms or some formulas or some assignments in a, in a rule where we can apply maybe a type of interest or a type of tax. And once we've done this, it's gonna start affecting our processes, okay? So all the processes that are being performed they're going to start performing in a different way based on this new data that was input by a business user in the business rules repository. Obviously, since our processes are being modified, the data that's being generated is also going to be modified based on these rules. Now, once we have the data, the reports are also going to change. Okay, so thanks to the monitoring, we're going to be able to see all the results, how they're affecting our business. Okay. And then obviously, if we need to change the rules again, we can always enter. Any business user with permissions can change those rules. So it's a very interesting way of applying strategic uh, business rules to all the processes that we have within, within the system.